Hello. Hi. Um, we're multitasking today. Yeah, we're multitasking. We're packing. We're making breakfast. We've got things to do and places to be, but we just wanted to record this so bad that we're setting the time aside to do so. Um, I don't know about you, Stephen. I am personally feeling much, much, much better about this thing. For sure. And what did I say? You were being overdramatic. Oh, no, 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 no. I was not being overdramatic. Last week, it sucked, and everyone was horrible. You were like, there's no redeeming. This season sucks. I hate everyone. No, no, no. We're always, there's always, like, the season start back. I wasn't like, there's no hope. And don't get me wrong. When I say, like, this season. Everybody sucks. That's been, that. that's also a long shot. Like, this week was, like, still, like, really stupidly boring. But... At least we have like an actual structure of a game that people are playing now. But like that's just the bare minimum. So we've hit that now. So thank God. To recap what happened, Simona won HOH after actually not wanting to. She nominated Sophia and Nosha, the two people that haven't talked to her. Um Nosha and Teddy suffered from delusions thinking that they were good active players. When Sophia won the veto, Teddy got put up, and then he rage quit the game. So that's what happened. Um, <laughs> and it'll much... tell you how bad the season was last week when we said that this week was an improvement. Yeah, no, like literally. like It was an improvement in terms of the structure of the game. In terms of the actual gameplay and what's happened, we're still... Not doing too great. Oh, good. At least I don't have anything because who would have anything in there about this? Okay, let's get started. Let's get started, Scott Yezzy. Oh, joy. Okay, we're starting because I want to go soon. Aaron. Aaron. Um. So in, in the past rankings, I feel like we've talked about Sean. Specifically, I feel like you've talked about Sean a lot more than I have in terms of like being uh-huh. the dark horse person that's going to be in the good position to like take the lead later in the game. I was never fully on board with that, but I saw it this week. I'm very much not on that train, and I'm on it for Aaron. Um. And I'll talk about why I'm not on it with Sean later, but with Aaron, it's just like he's doing he he does remind me of of the way that James Bowl plays actually. Um just in terms of like checking in with people on the daily, making sure he always knows what's going on. Like Aaron's like never like in the dark. He's not in the best position structurally and alliance-wise, but he's not in a bad one. I think the alliance of the longest alliance to ever form, that is. Him, Simona, Logan, Zach, aka Maeve, and Sean is the power structure of the house. Mm-hmm. Um, and just being in that is naturally gonna lend you to good things. And I think he has reasonable say. I think he got his way this week, even though like he didn't have to do any pushing for it, just kind of what happened. I think he's in a great spot. I think he's doing a great job. Nothing like out of this world, but I was at a seven last week and I'm very comfortably staying at my seven again. Yeah, I'm also staying at my seven this week. I think Aaron's in a great position. Um, he set himself up well for the for the rest of the game. The only way I could see him going home is like something going terribly wrong in the near future. Um, just in a specific week where someone that comes off the block and there's a pawn instance and something happens, but I think it's really unlikely. So sevens for Aaron. Wait, let me do this John thing. You up here. Okay. Nice. Okay. Dalton. Dalton. Do you want to start with Dalton? Or do you want me to? What was I at last week? A four? Yes. I think Dalton, for the tragedy that was the first two weeks of the game, somehow Dalton has done what he does and is back in it. Do you agree or disagree? Agree. I am one hundred percent on yeah. the same page. Um, I think that uh he's in really good with Maeve, 
and Aaron and, and a lot of other people, but I worry for him next week when it's revealed because while I think Maeve's catfish reveal will go over well, I don't know about his. I'm still worried about his transition. But as of this, like for this week, um, he he's continued to keep it like a, a low profile. Um, he didn't really push for anything too hard, I don't think. Um, you want to continue? Yeah, I completely agree with everything you said so far. The main reason why I feel a whole, whole lot better now is the people that were saying his name a lot before, specifically being Will, Kate, and Nicole. Last week, both Kate and Nicole said to each other, and a few other people, like, if we went to HOH, like, why are we taking a shot of Mira? I don't think Mira is a threat. I think Mira was stupid in week one. And little do they know that I, it's the exact opposite. Mira is a threat and was very smart in week one. Um, but yeah, so I think like a lot of people aren't targeting her as much. <laughs> AKA him, Dalton. Um, and I think he has repositioned himself well. I think his allies in Logan and Simone are key. And Maeve is key. Oh my god. <laughs> I am not doing well. Okay. Um his ally and Aaron is key. Um and he's doing a really good job at picking up relationships. The only thing is he's just not situated in any alliance that is going to keep him safe. It's just individual relationships. Which isn't bad, it's just a shaky position. So I was at a three last week. I'm gonna raise my score uh all the way up to a five. That's and actually I'm feeling going to, yeah. I'm actually going up to and a five. I, yeah, and I hope that uh it continues to go up because I love Dalton. He's just doing what he does best. I don't I don't know. Like I like even in season eight sometimes I was like, How is this working for you? Like how is this yeah, happening? Literally. I it just I guess you can say, like, how is this working for you? And, like, oh, this is just, a, like, a fluke all you want. But, like, it has never not worked so far. So I really, so, I don't even think it's a fluke. I just think, like, Dalton is one of the few people that, like, don't get me wrong, like, can come off as, like, quirky. But I don't think that pushes people away. I think, like, being funny and, like, like literally, it just comes down to this. Actively texting people and holding not dry conversations with them. It's always going to get you far. And that's what we're seeing with Dalton. Yeah. All right, moving on. Kate. Yeah. Um, Kate was once... Can you start with Kate over here, Yeah, Kate was once in a fantastic position. And I say she was once there because she is no longer there. Um, she is, I think, one of the people that needs to worry a bit here in the coming few weeks. I don't necessarily think this week specifically, because a lot of people have mentioned other names in front of her. But essentially, how the house is shaped right now is you've got the longest alliance ever formed in the middle, that being Simona, Maeve, aka Zach, Sean, Logan and Aaron. And they all have their connections outside of that alliance. Logan to uh, Nosha, Ripetetti, and Makai, uh, Simona and Zach to the Will McCall Kate side of things. Zach also to Mira, Aaron also to Mira, aka Dalton. Um, Kate's kind of one of those people that is just kind of like, I think, float up more on the outside. But most importantly, is floating on the outside, but thinks she's on the inside and like is in control. And so much of the problem with players is it's easier to play from the bottom knowing you're on the bottom than playing from the bottom and having thinking you're on the top and having no idea. I don't think she knows that she like needs to be doing a lot to save herself. And that's why I think. That's where I think the problem is going to come up with Kate. Um, I was at a four last week. I'm not going to lower my score because I do not think that of all the people <laughs> that could be in immediate danger, she's the most likely to go home. But she's definitely not in the power structure. She's definitely not in control. 
that she definitely could see the block. I, I, I mean, we know who Deja Wait this week and she's not going to see the block, but she would have been one of my top picks to hit the block next week had circumstances be different. So I'm going to stay at my four. Um, yeah, I didn't really hear what you said about her, but I think that she's someone that I feel like that like she thinks she's really good with everybody. Yeah, that's what that's what I was. I, I gave my usual speech of it's easier to play from the bottom when you know you're. Oh on the top yeah. Than when you're on the bottom and you think you're in control of it with everyone. I honestly think Kate needs to face some adversity for her to come back. I think to be honest, like unlike some other people here, like I think she can come back. And I think she can oh, play. 100%. Yeah. I think she just doesn't know that she's in a weaker position right now, and she needs to realize that. Maybe get put on the block with a veto, etc. Um, but I'm gonna go down to a four this week for Kate, which is sad. But I, I, I really like Kate. She's super sweet. Okay. This guy's making breakfast, so we'll do this. Oh, that's not right. Oh. Oh, did I totally just like not update the, the things? Correct. My bad. There you go. Okay, so we're talking about Logan. Logan. Okay. I am finally starting to see Logan's game. Mm-hmm. Because before it was like wishy washy, let me sit in the middle, let people come to me and me just like not do anything or have an opinion or like literally anything. And now he clearly has opinions and now that he knows where people stand or he thinks he knows where people stand and he's correct he's able to subtly push for certain things or take a back seat on certain things and i think we are going to see him go very very far because of it um this week when simona took power he was a great sounding board for her he didn't really want nosha and teddy on the block um and he was great at giving other options the one thing that he doesn't know about is NGA, and that's why Simona was not going to put up Kate and Nicole. So Logan did a great job, and I think pushing for it, but not too much that he's like coming after Simona's allies. Um, he was very transparent with Simona, saying that he's close with Nosha and Teddy, but he's not going to be against her if she makes this move. He was right with Nosha and Teddy being like, yeah, this is the worst, yada, yada, yada. But again, I, I think like at the end of the day, Logan is going to keep Logan safe. And I think he's not going to draw a line in the sand, um, at least for right now. And I think that's not a bad position for him. He's thrown two HOHs in a row in the second place. And I think that... And won one. And already won one, exactly. And I think that, like, I'm trying to think if he won HOH, who he would nominate. And the answer is Kate and Nicole. Um, but, like, besides that, he doesn't have a great option. Maybe, like, Sophia. Um, it's kind of where, like, a lot of people are right now. But overall... I am impressed. I am not going to raise my score this week because losing Teddy for him, I think, wasn't fantastic. But I'm certainly not lowering my score, and I feel like I am finally on the horizon of raising my score. I'm going to stay at my six, but it is a very firm high six. I will say something that I disagree with, which might have just, just been your semantics, was... Um... It's not that I'm starting to see Logan's game. I think that he's starting to have a game. Like, I don't think it was like we didn't see it before. I think it's he's finally starting to, like, be decisive and, like, pick a side and make decisions. Yeah, I, yeah, I agree with that. Which um, I think is definitely good for him. I think he he is definitely that kind of, like, oh, Logan, like, wouldn't hurt or backstab anyone. Like, he's making up, be, building up that character. Um, yeah. which I think is good because I, I know he's not like that. Um, ew, these are so dirty. Um, so I'm going to stay at my six as well. I agree that I, I could see myself going up in the future. I agree that this wasn't the best outcome of the week, but he played it right with what, what he was being dealt for the week. So I'm going to stay, I'm going to stay at my six. Awesome. Sixes for four weeks. Yeah, really? Nothing but consistent. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Maeve. 
Okay, Maeve said this week, if she ever dropped below a five, she would stop watching. Maeve, congratulations, you can keep watching. Because I feel so great about You're going Maeve. to the live oh show. Oh my gosh. Um, I think it's so funny that like, literally right after this eviction, she had a whole ramble of like, oh my God, I need to get on the block this week so I have a chance in the video. I'm like, Maeve, literally not a single soul wants to put you up. Not a single soul. <laughs> She's so bad. You are oh, the soul. Why would Simona put her up? Like, why would Simona put her up? Yeah, like, literally. She is the sole person that is in. Let, let's let's walk through this. Real fast. I'm going to highlight names. Here's Maeve. Maeve is here in yellow. We have the world's largest or the longest alliance to ever form. That consists of Aaron, Logan, Sean, and Simona. Great. Then she has NDA, which in addition to having her and Simona, has Kate, Nicole, and Will. Perfect. She has the very tight relationship with Dalton. Hooray. Teddy is now out of the game. We don't have to worry about him. We're going to just do that for a second. In addition to that, she has kept up good relationships with the other three people. So she's aligned with everyone in yellow and the people in white feel very good about her. Like, I'm sorry, that's crazy. And you think that you're gonna be going up and home this week? Like, don't get me wrong. She has started to screw up just a little bit um, in terms of catfishing. We're getting near the end. She's slipped up on a couple of things. And I think people definitely won't be surprised when it does get revealed. But that being said, she's in a fantastic position and you're right, I feel confident about her recovery. Um, so for all of those reasons, I'm going to be raising my score uh, to an eight. I'm also raising my score to an eight. We're on the same page tonight. We are. Um, for now. And I think, I think she could do it again. I think she could do it again. This is what I said okay. in my first round, second draft pick. Maeve could do it again. The question is, does she want to do it again? Does she want... Her biggest hurdle is going to be, so she's leaving for vacation. Mm-hmm. T- today. <laughs> um, she needs to survive three evictions to be back from vacation. One of those evictions, she's already guaranteed safety for. She just doesn't know it. Well... I mean, one of them is on one's tomorrow, and she's already safe for. But so four, including tomorrow. Sorry, I'm not. I'm not counting that one. I'm counting the the grid, and then the first two members of the jury. Which is crazy that that's going to be done in a week. Holy crap! Um, if she can get through that, I think she can make it to the end. Um, she's gonna have some tough competition, but again, I think she can do it. So we'll see. But my, like, I'm rooting. I'm even though I don't necessarily want a double winner this season, I am very much rooting for Maeve. If there were to be a double winner, I would not be upset that it's her. It should be her. I think she is the concrete best Big Brother SS player, period. Um on track record alone. Okay. Oh, wait, hold on. I was gonna say something. But now I forget. I don't know. Okay, yeah, I was gonna say something. I wonder how the people who are really close to her being, you know, the Simonas of the world, how they're going to react when they find out that the person that they're playing with is a two-time finalist, one-time winner, won the longest season, has the most competition wins of all time. Yes. So we'll see how that goes. I'm surprised that people, like, know it's her, basically, but, like, are just, like, not digging into it. They're not taking into it because A, I don't think they're, they care. And B, I think there's like, they know, but there's still like a reasonable amount of doubt. Like, it's crazy. You know what I mean? I mean, like, yes, after the TikTok thing, but like, she said her name. Like, she said her name. Yeah, that was bad. <laughs> that was hilarious. Um, you if that happened in week one, I would have been mad, but week five is fine. It's just hilarious. Um, She's so funny. Yeah. Anyway, I, I feel I feel great about Maeve. I I want Maeve to feel great about Maeve because she is so in her head. Yeah, exactly. Which, <laughs> granted, again, this goes back to Kate. Kate's at the bottom and thinks she's at the top. 
<laughs> yes, yeah, so like the top, but is so paranoid and is like playing as if she's at the bottom, and that is a better mindset to be in, in my opinion. Uh-huh. Like Nate's never gonna get caught. Uh-huh. Until she does, and then she gets evicted. Okay. Makai. Makai. Um, what? Literally, like, I just... We'll talk about the HOH competition after this, but, like, I I just... I don't know. He's not positioned well in the house. I think his charm is going to run out very soon. Um, I think looking ahead to the future, when you've got something like the mainframe coming up, I think that like, he's going to be a person that like, everyone's okay with letting go. Um, just not great. He lost Teddy this week. He like thinks it was like a move made against, I don't know. I just think he's like losing grip on the game and he didn't really have a grip to begin with. Sorry if that's harsh, but that's kind of how I feel. I can't in good conscience give him a good score because he didn't play a good game this week and he's in a substantially worse position without Teddy. Um, so I'm lowering my score to a four. Um, yeah, this was a bad week for him. Simply literally not wanting to vote because his two closest allies were all... Yeah, like, what? Like, get over it. I'm sorry. Like... Um, I'm also going down to a four. This week was bad. <laughs> and I don't think that... I, I agree with you. I think that he's... People could start getting annoyed sometime soon. So, yeah, that's what I have to say. About oh, I forgot to put these scores in. Cool. Okay. Nicole. Bad. Like, girl. Why do we only talk to Kate? Make, like, these plays. Wait, was the three and the four last week? I was the three. Okay. Um... We're making all these plans with Kate and we're talking to her about what's going to happen. But like, we're not going to HOH, which made Simona upset, almost considered putting her up with the amount of people that we're telling her to. Um, I think she's like known to be a comp threat, even though she literally doesn't compete in HOHs anymore. Like, I understand like you can go to bed early, but like the Loxy Joy started at 8 p.m. Like, girl, what are you doing? If you're not finding a complex, I don't know why you're not competing. Um... I don't know. Like, as a human, she's so fun. I love her. She's hilarious in her DR. As a player, I'm like, wake up and smell the roses. You're in a bad spot. And I think she has, like, absolutely no idea how bad of a spot she's in. Um, Looking ahead to next week, she is my predicted boot. I had her at this score before we even knew who won HOH. I was at a three last week, and I am staying at a three again. And unfortunately, I only expect it to go down. Sorry. Yeah, I got in the same place. I'm going down to a three. Um, I, like, she started off the game so well, too. Like, the first week, she was doing so well. What happened, Nicole? But, like, was she? I don't think she was. I think she won the veto. I think that's what happened. No, but she, we, like, she was situated with pe- good people until, like, it was really until Brett blew up. Like, before that, she was sitting fine. We knew that she was probably going to come off the block no matter who won the veto in the first week. So, no, that's not true. We knew that she was going to come off the block based on the people that were in the competition. At least that's what I said. But... Nicole, what are you doing? The answer is nothing. All right, let's keep going. No shit. Sure. I already see. Wait, sorry, this is a prediction. At the top of today... She said in the house chat, like, sorry, everyone, I'm busy all day. I won't be able to be active. She's probably going to be nominated in this upcoming week. But I swear if we get a diary room for her or, like, a text from her that's like, wow, I literally said I was going to be busy and they got put up. What about all the other days? 
anyway it's like works for the first day especially if it's your birthday but like doesn't work for 11 days like like the whole game like she's not talking to anyone except for kate and then barely her alliance so and usually when she's talking to the alliance it's because kate initiates something all right let's keep it moving i, I want to keep it moving um no sure um i actually feel really bad um for someone that suffers from this much delusion um it's crazy though i'm sorry no shot let's say it nicely no no i will not say it nicely delusion delusion of big brother is in nosha's brain she is suffering from delusion she doesn't talk to anyone on a game level Besides her little core line, that was Teddy, Makai, and Logan. A little bit to Will, because Will campaigned to her, but newsflash, Will campaigned to everyone. That doesn't count. Um, Simona comes to power. Um, Teddy reaches out to her and is like, I would love to like work with you. I know we haven't talked a lot, but like I'm just busy. And Simona was like, great. That's like a real thing. I can work with that. Teddy tells Nosha this, and Nosha's first response is like, oh my god, Teddy, you are so dumb. You can't go around trusting everyone, making alliances. You just have to, like, sit back and, like, not do all that. And now he's a Nosha then went to Simona. Her words were, oh my god, I didn't even realize we had a chat. That's how much they haven't talked. So when Simona goes up and gives the reason we haven't talked, Nosha all of a sudden is like, just say I'm a threat. Just say I'm a threat. Nosha, you are a threat to no one. I'm sorry. I said it. You're a threat to no one because you have like no ally. And I'm like, girl, where are we getting this? You are a threat. Teddy's a threat. Makai's a threat. You only like talk to each other. No one is working with you. Um, And then all of the... I mean, and this this is more so with Teddy and what he said in the house chat, but like Nosha supported it and like I'm coming after you, Simona, because you are a snake and yada yada. Girl, she had no promises for you. You weren't working together. Like, absolutely, she has every right to target Simona from here on out. Simona put you up. Great. But like, it's not because Simona's a snake. I know that's her Instagram handle, but newsflash, that's not what this was. You just did not talk to her. Sorry. Um, on top of that, I think everyone, including Nosha's allies and people that were fine with her, like people like Dalton or Logan or whatnot, like are now like, okay, like Lo- Nosha can go. I Mira is the new HOH in this upcoming week. And I think there is a non-zero chance that Nosha is the replacement nominee if the veto gets used. I don't think she'll go up on the block initially, but like I think that she could be on the block and I think she could go home. When Queen Sophia wins her second veto in a row. Like, literally. So this was just nothing but a bad week for her. I am lowering my score big time. I'm going down to a two for oh. Tulusion. Or no, the Tulusion? I don't know. There's a pun there somewhere, but this is bad. I'm only going to go down to a three, but I agree with everything that you've said. I agree that she thinks that she is playing... Which I don't know if it is, like, I don't know if we can chalk it up to anything except her inexperience in games. I agree with that. I agree that she thinks that she is playing by, like, responding to people when they text her. I'm sorry, that's not playing. That's responding to people when they text you. Yeah, so I'm only going to go down to a three. But 2.5 for Uh-oh. Okay. Sean. Yeah. So I said it in the beginning when we were talking about Aaron. I was always a little wavery on the fact of whether or not Sean was in a great position or not. And this week solidified for me that he really is not. He really isn't doing like anything. Um, because I, I gave no show shit for like not playing the game and not doing anything. Like I have to give Sean some shit for it too, because the reality is 
he is actively thinking about the game. I will give him props for that. He gives, he has great strategy and things, but actively thinking about it and actively doing things and planning it are two different things. He doesn't talk to enough people. The amount of people that came up to Simona this week and were like, nominate Sean was crazy. Um, the amount of people that were heading into this week that like said if they won HOH, they would probably just put up Sean um, is also not great. And I think the only thing that Sean has going for him is the fact that Simona pushed for him to be in this alliance because no one else wanted him there. And not that they didn't want him there, but no one else was close to him. Logan, Aaron, um, Maeve, like none of them talked to Sean. So he's just like, the reality is he's not in a good position. Um, this week, I'm only lowering my score to a five but I am certainly lowering my score and I'm only lowering it to a five because of the fact that he's in this alliance and it seems to not be breaking up unless he's on the block next to a member of this alliance. He should have the numbers to stay because I imagine if he's on the block, he's going to be on the block next to a bigger target, like someone like Nicole or Nosha or Dalton, AKA Mira. Um, but I don't know. I just don't, I don't see it anymore in terms of dark horse can win the game, at least not from what I'm seeing right now. I like, I think he has the potential to get there, but I, I'm not giving rankings on what could happen. I'm giving rankings on what is happening and the state of the game right now. And the state of the game is he's not in a great spot. So I partially disagree. I agree that he doesn't this week. He didn't portray that same uh, potential that I thought he had. But I think I think you're underestimating how good of a spot he's still in. Like I think the way that he has set himself up has put himself in a good spot for right now. I'm gonna go down. I'm only going to, going down to a six though. But we'll see how the rest of everything shapes. I out. agree with you, but everyone that's not in his alliance told Simona to put him up. Yeah, and Simona trusted him so much, and the people that he's working with trusted him so much that they would not let that happen. So I would But someone was the HOH. I know, but even if his any of his other alliance members were HOH, they would not have let that happen either. I understand that the people who are against him are, would want him on the block, but that was really only because they didn't want Teddy to go on the block. So that's something. But to. even when someone was asking for options, people said Sean. I think the people who have no one said Sean. It might be. But my cop, the Teddies and Noshas, the who else even said it? Nicole did, Kate did. Oh, okay. So it's still Maybe people. Started pushing people, for it. people who are flops, okay. Um but, but that's still like half the house. That's six. But people. do you think that if they became HOH, they would put him on the block? Yes. Well, we'll see. Well, I think as a pawn, I think not as the target, and that's why I'm not super down low. And that's why I think that I think that the people who are with him would vote to keep him in that in that situation. I agree with that for now, and that's why I'm not super low. But like looking ahead right now, I see Sean as besides for Simona, Sean is not anyone's number one, number two, or like number three. Like everyone has closer allies than Sean, and right now Sean just is a number, and the numbers are going to dwindle. So that's why I'm we'll not. Yeah. I I think always the people who put themselves out in the strongest. I think Simona could be out of here soon. Like in the in the next four or five weeks, I think that the big players. I mean, this is what we see every season. I feel like the Eric's and the Dallies and the. I don't see Sean in too different of a position than Dakota was in last season. That's what I'm saying. So like, so we'll see. Um, which is also why I lowered, I lowered my score too. But okay, Simona. Um, okay, I still feel very good about Simona, and I think she made the exact right move this week. It sucks that she was collateral damage of delusions of Grandeur, um, because I think a lot of people are seeing her as a threat now, um, and a lot of people, like, no one's talking about we need to take Simona out right now, but no one's talking about like, yes, final two, Simona. Um, 
So that's something that she's definitely going to need to watch out for down the line. Um, I think for Simona, though, having someone like Nosha that is like, I'm coming for you, like, isn't a bad thing, especially when, of all people, it is Nosha, who has shown no competition ability so far. Yeah. Um, so, like, I think that will help her, like, oh, well, Simona's always going to be pointed here for now. So while Nosha's here, I think that Simona isn't a threat to people. But you're right. Like, I, I see Simona going somewhere in the final eight, final seven round as, like, a big move that someone's making. Um, She's still in a very, very good position. I don't want to under like undermine that at all but it definitely is like slightly less because of this hoh not anything that she did but truly because of the reactions of the people that she did put up i think she proved a lot of loyalty but i think this more than anything it was like the spotlight was put on her this week and it showed how good of a position she was in by having to make this move so with that i'm going to lower my score only to a six but i still i still feel very good but i'm no longer feeling like fantastic I think that Simona thinks she's in a worse spot coming out of this week than she actually is. Yes, I agree with that. Um, <clears throat> I'm actually going to stay at my seven, to be honest. I think that this was um, not as great as her first HOH week, especially the outcome of it. Really, she lost the veto by like a fraction of a second. Yeah. Like, a, like it was really close. Um, and I think that if she kept Sophia Nosha on the block, Nosha would have gone home and things would have been smooth for her i guess even still like you have to consider that like if nosha went home and Simona's hoh like teddy and makai and all them and logan like we're still gonna be mad at her like they were still gonna be upset oh, yes, I agree. Yeah. so it's like it's the three of them where where it's either nosha or teddy that's upset with her and like probably having nosha upset at you in the house is probably better than having teddy upset with you and in the house I don't know. I think they're equally delusional and non-consequential in the grand scheme of the game. So I think she's going to be fine, at least for the next few weeks. I think that... I agree. I think that what's going to be her downfall is people are going to start seeing how big of a threat she actually is, and then they're, it's going to be a big campaign to take her out. But I think she's fine for now. Um, and I think she's she thinks she's in a worse spot than she actually is, but we'll see. Okay. Sophia. Yeah. Um, here's the good news. By going up on the block and winning the veto, by nature of those two things, she was ingratiated. That's not a word. I keep using that not word. She is ingrained in the game talk more. The bad news is she was on the block, and I think she will quickly become the new Ariel. Um, people like her. No one's targeting her. No one is actively keeping her around. And that position is going to get you maybe as far as Ariel did. She's another one that I worry for heading into something like the mainframe, where I don't think anyone is really going to have any problem uniting to take her out it'll be really interesting to see how that round works um so much of it depends on what the on a do with the order if they're trying to line people up to make a move um but i think that she's not someone that's safe or well situated moving forward the fact that she was on the block this week really is i just think and start a steamroll of she's going to be the next pawn um which isn't great so, I forget if I was at the three or the four last week. Either I, way. I think I was at the three. Gotcha. Well, if I was at a four last week, I'm lowering my score to a three. <clears throat> if I was at the three last week, I'm keeping it there. See, yes, I think she's the new Ariel, but I think that's such an insult to her. No offense, Ariel. Um, I think that, like, she's the kind of person that she... I don't think she would go home as the pawn. Like, at least next to a lot of people, whereas Ariel... No, but neither did Ariel, so... No, I didn't I didn't agree. I would not have said that in the in the first few weeks of the game. I think Sophia is one that is here and talks to almost everybody. And mm -hmm. 
one of the people who she didn't talk to was put on the block and evicted this week. So, and she, like, I, I don't know. I'm actually going to go up to a four. I don't know if I was, I actually don't know if I, well, I'm going to a four. Um, I think, I am a little disappointed because what I said was I think she needs to win a competition in order to be ingrained into the the social structure of the house. I didn't really see that happening. But I'm I'm curious just to see where she goes. But she needs to like step it up a little bit, I think. Okay. Teddy. I'm gonna go first because I'm gonna run downstairs. Um yeah, I I mean there's nothing really to say. Like he was put on the block. Not he wasn't the intended target going into the week. It kind of just happened when Sophia won the veto. Kind of just got the intended target then. Yeah. Kind of just got upset and made himself the target and then kind of just quit. So not only quit, but like here's like like what kills me is like Teddy, we see everything. You like saying this is like stupid asking to go home, to say I'm a threat, yada yada yada. And then you text the diary and you're like, hey, can I self-evict? I think I'm gonna be busy coming. Like, no, you're a sore loser. I'm sorry. I'm calling it a spade a spade. Deal with it. You got put up because like literally, like when he went to the house chat and was like, I talked to all these people, I'm not inactive. And everyone was like, Teddy literally does not talk to me. Crazy, delusion, nuts. He would not have gone home had he not blown up for literally no reason. It's a part of the game. In the words of Crystal, yeah, sorry, Kata, sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Good. Whatever she says, forget you. Good day. Goodbye. Forget you. Go home. Goodbye. Goodbye. One. Sorry. Um. I'm actually only going for a two. I'm going for a two. He asked to go home. Oh my god. Yes, but also like the circumstances in which he was put up, it was like his own fault. If he was targeted from the beginning of the week, I would say one. But I think that I'm I'm going with the two. The fact that the first sign of danger he was in, he was like, This is ridiculous. I'm out. Like, oh my god, get okay. over it. Okay, talk Goodbye. about it. Will. Okay. I'm actually impressed with Will. Um I think he's doing a really good job at slowly getting himself back in the good graces of the house. Um, including Mira, who you will soon learn is not Mira. Um I think that a lot of people do like him, and I think he's, like, doing a good job at, like, the thing that he has really going really well for him is everyone kept him unanimously, but it wasn't, like, a group thing. Like, everyone, like, decided just to keep it and it happened to be unanimous, and he's gone to a lot of people, like, when he's had the chance and been, like, listen, you kept me. I want to return the favor by helping you or trusting you or yada, 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 and I think he has built up a lot of good favor. Um, Looking ahead to next week, I think the fact that Dalton is seemingly not going to put him up is insane and huge. Um, Of course, we're not grading off of next week. But overall, I think not in the worst position of the people that are not in the main alliance. If anything, I think of the people that are not in the core alliance, he is the one that's in the best position of those people. So for that reason, I've been at a five for I think the last two weeks. I'm very comfortably staying at my five. I don't think he's strong enough in a strong enough position to warrant like a green score, but I'm certainly not feeling bad about Will anymore. So I think a five is a nice score for him. Um, yeah, I actually disagree again. This is funny because we agreed on the first half of the rings, but I disagree this time. I think that I, I have come around a lot on Will more than I did last week. I think that if I were to look at his game solely this week, I wouldn't believe you if he said he was in a terrible spot in the first week. Like, I feel like the way he is playing now and the people he's with, and, like, even, like, Mira's not going to put him up on the block this week, probably. Granted, I think Dalton has other things that he wants to do, and Will, taking out Will is not one of them. But, like, I don't know. Like, I'm, go- I'm going up to a six this week, actually. I'm jumping all the way to a six. But... We're going to see how it goes the next few weeks. I don't think he, he's, I think he's fine this week, but even as of last week, like, he, like he's in with people, like he's good, I think. 
So he's someone that else that has a that has that really good social game, I think. Um so we'll see. Great. So looking overall, Maeve is our highest scorer of the week. Mm. I think her and Simona are in nearly the exact same position, only now Simona has a spotlight on her. We'll see what happens when the spotlight shines right on Maeve. Um Maeve right on Maeve, right on Maeve, all the things. Um Right behind me, we have Aaron. I think really interesting to see Aaron in the second spot here. Um, Because we're, like, I do feel good about Aaron, but second position might be a little high, but we'll see, because he's doing a good job. And Simona right behind him, I think that still makes total sense. Down at the bottom, we have our delusional crew, Teddy, Nosha, and Nicole. Teddy went home, of course. Nosha is crazy for thinking that she's doing things. Nicole is crazy for thinking that she's in a good spot in the house. Um... And then behind that, Sophia, who honestly, queen of knowing exactly where she is in the game. It's just not a great spot. <laughs> so that's where we are at for the week. Looking ahead to next week, we know that Dalton is our new HOH. We know briefly what his ideas may be. Stephen, do you have a prediction for who goes home? I think it's going to be Nosha. Or sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, that's all I meant. I think it's going to be Nicole. That's what I said. I agree with you. But I think if it's not Nicole, it will be Nosha. I don't think it'll be Sophia. Exactly. I agree. Sorry. I'm... Alrighty. Um, well, with that, that concludes week four. We will see you next week for the final week where Mira and Zach are Mira and Zach. Okay. Goodbye.